Hi, I've been looking all over YouTube for videos on how to clean those. It's a chalkboard paint wall. Um, I couldn't find anything, so I thought I'll try some stuff. And when I find something that works, I'll show it to you. How's that? So it turns out that I figured out uh, some way that you can clean it. It, is, uh, it doesn't come back to uh, brand spanking new like you just painted it, but you can make all those lines disappear because as you can see, I took my vacuum cleaner and I just took all the dust off of it, but it's still, it's still there. It doesn't go away. And with only water, it seems like you can still see the lines underneath it. So what I did is I took a spray bottle, a little brush, and an old rag, which is an old face cloth that's all nasty and stuff. That's what I'm using. So in that spray bottle, there's about 10 milliliters of vinegar, and the rest is water. I didn't use any kind of soap because with the brush I figured that it would be bubbly and everything and it make, makes bubbles and leave lines so I am using the brush and the spray and you'll see I've done parts of it already over here and you can see that the letters they're all gone and you can still see the base white that there was chalk there but you can't see what was written on it so you can use it as a like it was brand new so I'm gonna spray some of it right here make a little bit okay I'm back my memory card was full I had to change it um, so yeah I was always saying you spray it and then you kind of scrub around in circles with your brush where you can see the lines and then wipe off the excess with the rag So that's about it. That's what I did with the top part and the part that's over here. Uh, it's dripping, but it's okay. I'll finish it later. That's how I clean it up. I'll show you a picture of uh, what it looks like when I'm done. Here, what it looks like right now. Um, my daughter was really eager to draw on it, so she couldn't wait. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Um, I hope that video was useful to you. If you have any more tips or questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below, and I'll read and answer them all, I promise. See ya!